kitchen. Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And the light of fear gone. You say you want to tear it. You have to tear it. And when you tear it, you can't erase it. Hey, Jody cooking. Hi guys, it's Jody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got another delicious recipe for you all. I'm gonna make some stew salmon with a nice delicious sauce. Yes? So guys, in my bowl right here, I've got seven salmon that already washed and clean in some lemon juice. I also have some sweet pepper. I have red, green, and orange. And that's just off. I also have some fresh garlic, at least five cloves. Half of onion that I cut, one tomato that I cut also. These are all of my seasoning. So here I have onion powder, parsley and garlic powder, black pepper, smoked paprika, all-purpose seasoning, Cajun seasoning, and complete seasoning. And this is one teaspoon. Okay. Don't forget guys to give me a thumbs up, share this video to your families and to your friends and everyone on your social media. I'll really, really appreciate it. Stay tuned. So guys, these are my ingredients for my sauce. Here I have at least half cup of honey and I also have some NSC, at least just over one to two tablespoons. It is totally optional guys, you don't have to use it. Ketchup, quarter cup of ketchup, some dark soya one tablespoon this is just my garlic I already show you guys my garlic already yes so now guys I'm just gonna season my salmon firstly I'm gonna add some olive oil at least two tablespoons of my olive oil then I'm gonna blend all my seasoning together I'm not going to use all my seasoning. I'm going to leave back some for my sauce and just sprinkle it all over on my salmon just like so. And this is how my salmon is cut guys. Just going to rub this seasoning in. It is all finished seasoning you can leave it to marinate guys for at least 15 minutes or so okay so guys here I have my skillet on my stove and my stove is in a medium heat what I did, I add at least quarter cup of my olive oil. So now I'm going to add my salmon and I'm going to allow my salmon to fry for at least four minutes on each side, okay? Gonna flip it over. Nice and golden.
going to add my remaining. So guys, this is the same pot that I used to fry my salmon. So what I did, I removed most of the oil from it. So now I'm going to add my onions. My garlic. Just going to leave it for at least 20 seconds, okay? So just over 20 seconds guys, I'm going to add my tomato, I'm going to also add my bell peppers. Just going to leave it to saute guys for at least 20 seconds, okay? So guys, in my bowl right here i've got some warm water so to my bowl i'm gonna add my remaining seasoning and i'm also gonna add my dark soya gonna give it a stir I'm also going to add my ketchup. Give it a stir. And I'm just going to add it to my pot. Just like so. My honey. And you want to taste it to your liking. If you need any salt, any more seasoning, you can always add. Okay? My Hennessy. And you're just going to leave it for it to come to a boil, guys, for at least one minute. Okay? So, guys, this is what this looks like just after one minute. So now I'm going to add my salmon, just like so. Pour all the liquid that leave back on your plate. Then I'm just gonna take my spoon and just pour it on just like so. And I'm gonna leave it guys for at least 10 minutes and it is ready, good to go. Absolutely delicious, so yummy. I have some bell pepper leaf back, so I'm just gonna add it. So 
So guys, I'm going to squeeze off of lemon. Okay. Just make sure there's no seed. Then I'm just going to finish it off with some fresh thyme. At least one tablespoon. And scallion, okay? This look amazing, absolutely delicious. I'm just gonna half cover it up. I'm not gonna fully cover it up, okay? Coming at the kitchen, Jody is cooking. She is cooking up a storm. And me like what she had one. Me say you want to taste it. So guys, it is all finished and guys, may I tell you, this looks super, super delicious. So, so, so much watering. You guys are going to enjoy this recipe. It is cooked to perfection. Don't forget guys, if you try this recipe, comment below and tell me what it's like. Don't forget also to give me a thumbs up and please share this video to someone that you know will enjoy it also, okay? I just finished it off with some scallion, okay? Yes. And guys, you can serve it with whatever you preferred. I'm going to serve it with some Jamaican rice and peas, of course. You can also serve it with some plain rice, some mashed potato. Honestly, guys, whatever you preferred. It is super, super, super yummy. I thank you all so much for watching this video. Until next time, bye. Love you all.